Final race for me is race 26. It's got his champion handicap chase. Hot Springs Daddy, Winnie Gerard, October Bay, Pudful Vision on the short side, Excelsior Parade, Jim Murray, Flying Amber, John Morgan, Dariba, Martin Leiden, and Diva Padango, and Derek Hinton. Six runners for the Scottish Champion Handicap Chase over two miles on every ground. The only big race of the day at Musselburgh. On a two day meeting, I'll have a meet tomorrow. They'll have the Count Hero as the main race on the card. Today it's the Champion Chase, and Flying Amber is a couple ends clear of the field, jumping that one. In second place with uh, Gariba on the outside, then Diva Fandango and October Bay, Hot Springs Valley, and the Excelsior Parade. Going towards the next to jump in that one and the front running flying arm is jumping well at the moment but we know John Morgan is also his other suspect a suspect bump the head of Pencil 2 on the way around most of Ooh. We, need, we did lose one we lost one at the back the old Celsius parade but the one that made a mistake in front of it and may have put it off at Celsius parade was Guriba it may have affected the grey horse behind it Put him off and he lost his pilot. And the flight in Hamba is about eight limbs clear now of October Bay. And then comes Gariba on the inside is Diva Fandango and Ox bring his daddy. This is a uh, too short for October Bay. At least two pounds too short. But when the season came over two miles free. That's Stayed around that distance all season. Flying Amber is clear, three limbs clear of David Diva Fadango. A jump in the ditch. Gariba's moved into second now. That marker, Odd Springs Daddy. The Jars also have been held up. They jump the next. And they jumped that well. And Flying Amber is jumping well at the moment. He's four limbs clear. Jumping next, and he jumped that well as well, but they all did. And Garibo in second, and the Red Room Colours from Hot Springs Daddy in third, and then Dira for Dango, and uh, Derek Hinton Colours from Silks, and October Base gone past that one now in the Beepty Colours, or Silks, or yesteryear, and Beepty won Dry Cap, that's a three year old after dropping back from. Running down the field in the dark in the Guinea side. Flying Amber leads by a couple lengths from Gariba in second. Then out springs Daddy who jumped that one well and now comes the challenge Flying Amber. Back in third is Diva Duck Padango, October Bay is fourth and Gariba dropped away the fifth. He jumped back, back into fourth, he just got two left to jump and Flying Amber has gone on again as Hotspring's daddy come under the ride, he jumped that one slowly and it looks like Flying Amber has jumped the last, now he's four, five lengths clear again, down towards the final fence, he's coming towards it, Flying Amber, <coughs> coming away, he's well clear, he jumped it well, and that's a long way clear now, Hotspring's daddy might be joined by Greybone for first, second and first, back in force is Divas for Dango, up towards an easy win for Flying Amber, John Morgan, second up to the guy, third to Eva, Diva for Dango, and October Bay was outpaced in this race. Good win for John Morgan then. He wins the Scottish Champion Chase with uh, Fly in Amber, who's been placed a few times this season. Congratulations, John, and I will see you tomorrow for the Enters Chase.